non-Olympic event this one, but nonetheless hotly contested. All these paddlers will be in mission in World Championship history. We may see one now, who knows? We may see one in some of the races coming up. So, we have seen, of course, a Mexican we, uh, uh, crew in the women's K4 doing so well, picking up a medal up there. And we've got a K2 there. Alanis and Montemayor are racing in lane one for Mexico. Lane two is Holova and Kukliznovska for Ukraine. Yeah, lane three, Marta Valchikiewicz, Katrina Kolecic, watch out for them. They are in lane three. Sarah Uzand and Teresa Portella, very experienced Spaniard in the back of that uh, crew in lane four. Blanka Kiss and Anna Lutz, very good over the shorter distance there, the Hungarians who go in lane five, qualified very, very well for this final. Ella Beer and Yale Steinpreis, who were fourth in Poznan, the Australians, they go in lane six. Andrian Langois and Toshka Rebecca from Canada in lane seven. Linea Stencils and Moa Wilkberg from Sweden go in eight. This is the big focus for Linea Stencils, the crew boats, not choosing to take part in the K1, so watch for them in the red boat. And then lane nine is Sakira and Aziz from Argentina. The final of the K2 women 200 meters is underway. Important to get a good start, and it is Kish. You can see there, and Lutz from Hungary, who get away to the best start in lane five, but now it is about maintaining their pace, trying to keep the stroke as long as they can, make sure they're latching onto it. They're doing that well at the moment, but they'll be aware that the other boats are coming at them. Spain are coming. We can see the Canadians right on there as well, and they'll get a feel for the roar of the crowd. Andrea Langlois and Toshka Rebecca have a big chance of a medal here. We need to pan out to be able to see this. They're panning out for the gold medal. It's going to be on the lunge for the line. Hungary, Canada, Poland, all in there, Spain. Goodness me, what a race. What a roar from the crowd. Kish and Lutz. We can see the poles a little bit further on to the right as well. We're getting into the business end of the race. Whilst the Hungarians maintain their form, that nice or bright style, a good long stroke. We'll then get a look at the lunge for the line coming up shortly. Here it is. So. Hungary lane five, but we're not watching them. We're watching the Canadians in the red vest, the white bow. Ooh, that is difficult to call. The Spanish maybe just getting it ahead before they fall in. Of the Canadians, but really, whatever color medal uh, they get there, what a result for Canada and for those two paddlers. They can be proud of the work they've put into this. Uh, this is a really good, good and promising crew for uh, the next few years, and maybe Paris. You know. um, with that, and of course, that I think is Hungary's first medal at this World.